see, a kiss is a sign of affection, but why does it have to have a sound effect? Like, if you just met a girl for the first time and you want to take it a step further, you wouldn't start doing sound effects to let her know how the evening's going to go. You know, well, what I thought was... <laughs> It's like that other one, I can't stand that. Somebody knock on your door, then walk in the room and go, oh, knock, knock. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Pointless sound effect. Why knock if you're going to say it as well? That's like a burglar breaking into your house and doing the sound of an alarm. Ding a ling 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 <laughs> Fuck, this always happens to me. <laughs> People are mad. You ever bang your arm or your leg and you go, oh, somebody say, what's the matter? I just bang me fucking arm. They start making the same face as you. Ooh. <laughs> Does it hurt? Yeah, so why the fuck are you making the face? <laughs> I get very nervous. I try to give up nicotine by smoking them electronic cigarettes. Now I'm addicted to fucking electricity. <laughs> it's brilliant. Just lick a roll up, stick it in the plug socket. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> some people hold on to stupid superstitions before they perform. Like some sportsmen will insist on wearing the same pair of underpants. Oh, because it's lucky. Yeah, yeah. Try asking any homeless person, he wears the same pants every fucking day. <laughs> you must feel really lucky. Yeah, I love smelling a piss. <laughs> All this superstitious stuff, it freaks me out. You know, that's why I don't like Halloween. Every year I have to keep answering our front door and it's always the same great big fat kid. Rings that doorbell, asks for sweets, ding dong, treat, or actually cake. <laughs> He's dressed up as a fucking skeleton. I've seen an overweight skeleton before, not one that needs to wear a frickin' bra anyway, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and pumpkins, what's so scary about pumpkins? It's a vegetable, for fuck's sake. Ooh, watch out for that potato. <laughs> At least go with a vegetable that upsets you like an onion, you know? What's the point of having a vegetable that makes you cry? You're trying to make a cheese and onion sign, you're in fucking pieces. I love cheese and onion! <laughs> <laughs> Kids are into all that occult stuff. You know, they love the vampire series, the Twilight films. Yeah, it's all about these pasty-faced teenagers that stay out all night and do fuck all else but sleep during the day. Apparently, it's really popular with students. Wonder why? <laughs> you ever walked into your teenager's bedroom and pulled the curtains in the morning? Fuck, you know, they start melting. <laughs> Come on, get up! <laughs> They're in bed going, ah! <laughs> Fuck off, Dad! I hate you! I wish you were dead. That really pisses you off as a parent. Do you think even Dracula hates his undead kids sleeping in that long? Get up! Get up! You've been sleeping for a thousand years. Do something with your life. Dracula's kids in bed going, oh, fuck off, Dad, you fascist. <laughs> I'm staying in a very nice hotel. I don't mind hotels. I don't mind, you know, because you know when you get in your room and you think, oh, clean white sheets, fluffy towels, plump pillows. No one's ever been in this room at all but me. No, because I paid the special savers rate of 29 99 <laughs> You know, you're getting out of the shower, wiping your face with that towel. No one's ever used this towel before. No. No one's ever done this with it. <laughs> ever watched the adult channel while you're holding this TV remote I have in my hand? <laughs> That's why it smells of fish. <laughs> it's then you notice that funny yellow stain on the bath mat. Nah, that's not a stain. Quite clearly, that's the hotel logo. Because <laughs> it's just like that ominous sticky white patch on the armchair and that brown sort of skid mark on my mattress. <laughs> Stuff like that to create that impression that they're clean. Like the laws put that paper sash across the bog seat, you know, sanitized for your protection. Why a sash? What the fuck is that? We're not going to launch it, are we? You're not getting on that bog, tearing off that sash, going, I named this bog the huge clear out. <laughs> God bless that and all who are sailing. <laughs> You know my worst bug bug about hotels? You can never get any sleep because there's always that randy couple in the room next door won't stop shagging. All night the other night. Oh, Darren. Oh, Darren. Why does she keep calling out his name? He never answers. What's he going to say? I'm busy. <laughs> All night the other night. 
mind, Darren. Oh, Darren. Then the headboard starts banging on the wall. You know, Darren. Oh, Darren. 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 After a while, you start joining in. Darren. 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 For fuck's sake, hurry up! <laughs> You can't ring downstairs to the front desk with that one. Excuse me, there's two people next door. Won't stop shagging. I know, and you can't stop them. <laughs> no, I don't want you to stop them. I want you to come up and put a window in. I want to have a Johnny Quango. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's always that when you're making love, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yes. Mind you, what else can you say? I mean, you can't start having a conversation at that point, you know? I was thinking to go around Auntie Vera's tomorrow. <laughs> for a ham tea and a slice of quiche. <laughs> Mind you, he can't say anything. All the blood's gone from here. It's all down here, you know? <laughs> you all right? Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm shagging! My car needs a service. You ever get one of those? A product recall. It's a letter in the post. Do you drive the Ford Okie Koki 250? Then unfortunately, we've discovered a fault that may cause certain vehicles to explode and catch fire while in use. And then it says, so drive it to your local dealer. How the fuck can I do that? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, you won't miss me. I'll be arriving in a ball of flames. <laughs> I mean, what if they want you to bring it back because there's something wrong with the brakes? How the fuck does that work? Like... <laughs> Fix those, will ya? <laughs> You sent the letter. <laughs> Everything is safety now. Like when they put your kid in the car, it has to go on one of those baby carriers, and you've got to put it in the seat uh, backwards, you know? Oh, because it's safer. Well, if it's safer, why don't we all sit backwards and fucking reverse everywhere then? <laughs> <sighs> the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's safer. I don't like going out the supermarket in my car. I can't stand it. You know when you're on your way back to your car, you've got arms full of fucking heavy carrier bags, you know? And that car pulls up, that bloke wants your parking space, he starts doing all that mime shit from his car. Are you going? <laughs> Are you going now? <laughs> you know, you start miming back. No, I thought I'd take these heavy bags for a fucking walk. <laughs> it's been a nice day in everything. <laughs> As soon as you get in your car, you turn into a ventriloquist. As soon as you get in your car, you're like, yeah, I'm just going now. <laughs> you tosser. <laughs> yeah, you little anchor. <laughs> it's the same when you're at the garage at the petrol pump. You know, if you're waiting for somebody, you're sitting in your car going, come on, mate, you got your petrol. What's the fucking hold up? Come on, come on. Oh, but if somebody's waiting for you, different story. You know, you're on your way back to your car going, fucking all right, all right. <laughs> in the shop I wanted to look at. <laughs> Do you ever use those plastic gloves they have next to the pumps up the garage? <laughs> now you're standing in the overnight garage wearing one of those plastic gloves on your hand trying to get the attendant's attention. Suddenly you look like Michael Jackson filling up his fucking car. <laughs> yeah, pump number two. <laughs> pump number two. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, mate. <laughs> I've stepped in diesel. <laughs> it's getting slower and slower to drive anywhere these days, especially around town, you know, because all the councils have put those speed bumps up every road. So now you and your wife will be driving on one of these local roads now, going over these speed bumps. Suddenly look like a couple of members of JLS sing one of their songs. <laughs> No, I understand you have to be careful on the roads, especially when there's kids around. You know, if a kid suddenly walks out in front of your car while you're driving at slower, more responsible speed, then he stands a much better chance of putting his hand through your window and nicking your fucking stereo. <laughs> Drive slowly, watch out for the kids. I don't think they've been ran our way. That's why they show that advert on the TV. That's to warn us. If you're driving at 20 miles an hour, there's a 50% chance I might get your radio. <laughs> Hit me at 30 and there's an 80% chance I might get your wallet and mobile phone. 
I don't get speed bumps. It must be especially tricky for ambulances. You know, they're in the back. It's an emergency. The sirens are going. Some bloke's having a cardiac arrest, you know? And the medic is like, ah, just stay still. <laughs> well, I give you this injection. <laughs> just to come. Just to calm you down. <laughs> I travel a lot, I travel. Flying, flying's getting worse. It's not the planes, it's the airports. They take everything away from me now at airport security. Perfumes, creams, drinks, no fluid on the plane whatsoever. Why? Terrorists are gonna try and smuggle it. Explosives onto the plane, not a can of your wife's fucking L'Oreal hairspray. <laughs> it's some mad terrorist bloke somewhere going, I was in Abu Ghraib for 20 years. Cos I'm worth it. <laughs> I mean, you're in the shop buying a packet of polos and they're asking for your boarding card. Where's the security risk with a packet of polos? You're up the cockpit of the plane, fly us to bamboo. No, OK? <sighs> <laughs> oh, no, it's the mint with the hole. <laughs> yes, and do as we say, or everybody on the plane gets a face full of fresh minty bread. Trains, I travel on trains. I can't stand trains. They're spending billions on high speed trains, but fuck all on any high speed staff to go on them. <laughs> yeah, you're on board something doing 200 miles an hour where the bloke serving your tea is fucking going back in time, you know? Sorry, your tea's cold. <laughs> it's not from this millennia. <laughs> I'm about to put a few bob to one side for some high speed audible announcements. The train now arriving up. Why can we never understand them, fuckers? You know, you stand on the platform of a train station, all you can hear is the train now arriving at platform three. Is this a real or is it you really time? <laughs> you fucking what? The train now arriving at platform three. It's so sorry, I understand the fucking word I'm saying. <laughs> How did that bloke get the job? You know, he's in the interview, so what makes you think you can do this job? Well, uh, it's a real word, but that's your time. You're fucking in! It's like that other one, you know? Cashier number three, please. <laughs> Cashier number five, please. When did they record that? Was the bloke standing on the chair with the fucking rope around his neck? <laughs> Cashier number nine, please. <laughs> I want to die, please. <laughs> I don't like trains. Why do people do that on trains? They go and stand by the door ages before the train reaches the station. I don't know if you know, but I'm getting off at the next stop. You're <laughs> fucking kidding him. <laughs> What's the matter with these people? Do they go and wait by the front door before they leave the fucking house? <laughs> I mean, the train's gonna stop. You can see they spent millions building that big station we're approaching. What are these people thinking? They're gonna have to die from a speeding train? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you just don't know, do you? <laughs> Have you been on the bus lately? That's a laugh. they got the driver now behind a thick piece of perspex and they drilled a few holes in there so he can breathe. <laughs> what do they do before they drew those holes? It's like... They drill those holes, that's how you can speak to the driver. It's the same when you've got the job centre. They've got that grill thing you have to speak through in the glass. Why do they always have it so fucking low? So you're always bending over to speak through it. You'd be up the job centre going, excuse me, could you speak for the grill, please? Could you speak for the grill? Oh, yeah, I'm here about me disability allowance. <laughs> yeah, I've got a bad back because I keep having to bend over to speak through this fucking thing! <laughs> It's the, same, it's the same when you've got the Sea Life Centre. Have you been up <laughs> You know all them fish are behind that glass? You know, have you been in the Sea Life Centre? Fuck, they don't like your fishing in there, do they? <laughs> I think it's just like the post office up that aquarium, because as soon as you go up to the glass window to see all the fish, they all seem to fuck off around the back for a while, don't they? <laughs> Those fish are talking about me beyond them rocks. I fucking know they are. 
because there's always that lone suspicious fish that pokes his head out that bit of coral at the back, isn't there? <laughs> He's still here! <laughs> yeah, the one with the big ears, yeah! <laughs> I like the seahorse. Have you seen the seahorse? <laughs> Fucking hell. What the fuck is that? It's like Elton John playing two keyboards. <laughs> I wonder if a crab ever looks at human beings walking forward on the beach and goes, how the fuck do they do that? <laughs> so like squid, squid can only swim backwards. That's right, I'll be right with you. I feel sorry for because they've got them sucker things on each arm. It must be a nightmare, you know? How you doing? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> nah, it's all right. I've got this. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> now, hold on. This happens all the time. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> pelicans. I love pelicans because they've got that bag for life under his chin, you know? <laughs> Would you like a bag? No, thank you. As you can see, I went for life under my chin. <laughs> Must be great to be a rattlesnake because you're born with your own maraca. <laughs> Olé! <laughs> I wonder if you ever meet another rattlesnake, you know? <laughs> Fuck! Let's fall in my band! <laughs> Kangaroos, I love kangaroos. They're like nature's magicians. They've got that pocket at the front that keeps producing stuff out of, you know? Baby kangaroo. <laughs> Fluff. <laughs> My bad lunch. <laughs> They've got those big hind legs there for jumping, you know? What are them front short ones for? What the fuck are they for? Typing. <laughs> you know, be a short hand. That's why the dinosaurs were wiped out because they had them front short, tiny arms going on, you know? Climate change. He was like, my hands are freezing. I can't reach my pocket. <laughs> you're strolling around that aquarium, you know, you walk through that tunnel with the shark swimming above you and you're like, wow, there's a shark. But it's never a proper shark in them aquariums, is it? Where the fuck do they get him from? It's always some idiot shark, you know? He's got like armbands of Ruka. <laughs> got a cauliflower face because he keeps bashing into the glass, you know? Uh, he's humming away to himself. Catches his reflection in the glass, you know. Ah, there's a shark! Ah, it's me! It says on the wall in there what each fish is, but do you think the sea life in there know what species they are? There's like a puffer fish going, I wonder what I am. I've got big bulgy eyes, a slimy body, and I sit me on a glass window all day and night. Fucking hell, I'm a petrol station attendant. <laughs> I like it in fishing now that people throw their catch back in the water, you know? But how does the fish explain that to his mates when he gets back in the water? You know, the fish gets in the water, he's like, I've just been abducted by aliens. <laughs> they prodded me, took photographs of me, waved me, and then put me back in the water. You're fucking mental. <laughs> but fish keep getting caught. How the fuck does that happen? Do they not remember from the last time? You know, there's like a fish swimming around. He sees a worm on a hook and he's like, oh, there's a worm. You know, the worm's on the hook. I know, fuck off. <laughs> it's a trick. <laughs> I'm on a hook. You didn't want me to eat you, I went to eat you, and then <laughs> he's gone. He's fucking gone. Two minutes later, he's back in the water. I've just been abducted by alien. <laughs> they prodded me, took photographs of me. <gasps> There's a worm. <laughs> no, fuck off. 